Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zell. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I recently made some chicken pinwheels. For this recipe, I used two chicken breast shredded, two cream cheese, a package of bacon, that Tony's uh, seasoning that you see back there, spinach, and uh, flour tortillas, as well as cheese. I cooked my bacon and cut it in very fine little pieces, but of course you can use bacon bits if that is just easier for you to use. I just think that real bacon, it just really adds to the flavor. I cut up my spinach as finely as I could as well. And then I melted my cheese, my cream cheese in the microwave for like 20 second intervals. Um, and then I spread it all over the pan that I'm gonna use to mix everything in. I put in my Mexican cheese. You can also use mozzarella or whatever other type of cheese you want. And then I just started just adding my ingredients. There is really no correct way to add everything. Um, I did notice that I had like so much chicken, so I didn't wanna add it all in there at once. I just seasoned um, as I wanted. I know I could have seasoned my meat separately, but I totally was just gonna throw everything together as fast as I could, and I didn't really uh, do a step-by-step, -step, but it turned out really good. This is such a good treat for company or just something different to have. Um, and then I only added one of my cheeses first, then I added the other one. It does make a difference when you microwave it. I think my second one, as you can see, it's a little bit tougher. It didn't melt as much. So I had to really use my hand and, you know, use a little bit of strength to, um, to mix it. So definitely putting it in the microwave makes a lot of difference. And then just mix it all up as much as you can. Um, it took me a while. And here's a quick list of everything that I used just for reference for you guys. And now we are ready to put our pinwheels together. So we're just gonna lay out our tortilla. I did not preheat it or anything because it's already fully cooked. So you can just eat it cold because this is a cold dish. So we're just gonna spread um, this on there as best as I can. I actually switched to a spatula. It was just a little bit easier. And now we're just gonna roll up the tortilla as tight as possible because we did fill the whole tortilla up. So it is a little bit tougher to kind of roll it, but we're just gonna squeeze it in there, roll it up and then cut it up. I thought that this recipe was pretty easy. Um, like I mentioned, you guys can alternate ingredients to whatever it is that you prefer or have at hand, but this little treat is super awesome and filling for guests or just to have it um, you know, as a lunch meal, whatever it is that you want to have it as, it's super filling, it's easy to make, and it's perfect for summer because it can be eaten cold. So I hope you guys try it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. See you guys next time.